Supreme Court has finished hearing oral arguments about whether former President Trump or other presidents are immune from prosecution. Trump's attorneys argued that his efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election was an official act and he should not stand trial for it. They also claim the separation of powers bars the courts from reviewing the actions of a president. But the Justice Department says granting blanket immunity to a president would put them above the law. This case has huge implications for the presidency, for the future of the presidency, for the future of the country, in my view. Justice Samuel Alito questioned whether the conspiracy and fraud-related charges against Trump are too vague. Before the hearing ended, Justice Amy Coney Barrett hinted that the high court could send the case back to district court for it to decide if the indictments against Trump can be prosecuted. A ruling is expected by the end of June. Now to the criminal trial of Mr. Trump. Cross-examination underway of the former friend of Mr. Trump's, the one-time publisher of the National Enquirer tabloid, testified how he and Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, worked together to keep porn star Stormy Daniels from damaging Trump's presidential campaign and hopes. So were Trump's lawyers able to shake David Pecker's testimony? I was news reporter N.J. Burkett covering the trial for us from Lower Manhattan. N.J. And right, Bill, they have not had much of an opportunity to do that, at least not yet, although you know the defense has been sharpening its knives for David Pecker for a long time. No, Pecker spent much of the day on the witness stand for the prosecution, discussing the agreement he had with Donald Trump. Prosecutors say Donald Trump wanted the stories to go away. His one-time pal, former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker, explained how he engineered a deal to buy the silence of Karen McDougal, a Playboy model who claimed she'd had an affair with Trump. Pecker says he had a secret agreement with Trump and his attorney Michael Cohen to be on the lookout for damaging stories about Trump. When a doorman at Trump Tower claimed falsely that Trump had fathered an illegitimate child, Pecker paid the man $30,000 for the rights to the story then buried him. When Ms. McDougal surfaced, demanding 150000 Pecker told Cohen he would broker the deal. But there was a catch. I said, who is going to pay? He said, you should pay. And I said, why should I pay? I just paid $30,000 for the doorman story, and this is $150,000. $150,000. Who's going to reimburse me for this? And he said, don't worry about it. The boss will take care of it. And I took that to mean Donald Trump, and that I would be reimbursed from the Trump Organization or Donald Trump. But Pecker told the jury he never saw a penny. And by the time Stormy Daniels came forward with her own story, Pecker testified he'd had enough. I said, I don't want the National Enquirer to be associated with a porn star, telling Michael Cohen, I am not a bank. You should buy this story, and you should take it off the market. If you don't, and it gets out, I believe the boss is going to be very angry with you. Cohen will testify it was he who paid Ms. Daniels $130,000 of his own money on the eve of the 2016 election. Prosecutors say Trump reimbursed him months later, disguising the payments as legal expenses. USA! USA! This morning, Trump made a surprise campaign appearance at a construction site in Midtown and slammed the trial to Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate. You're headed back inside the courtroom in just hours. I'll be back in the courtroom, and uh, all that is is a political witch hunt. Well, Pecker was cross-examined today for just over an hour, but he was forced to admit that he did suppress negative stories for many celebrities, including Tiger Woods, Mark Wahlberg, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And what the defense is trying to do is to portray what Pecker did for Trump essentially as business as usual. Cross-examination expected to continue here tomorrow.